Do you like shotguns? I like shotguns. Shotguns are my favorite way to put a projectile down range. And as you can probably tell, I'm also really into Nerf. But for some time, it's actually been kind of difficult to find a way to competently fling foam darts down range in a manner similar to this. to learn how to design and print custom 3D Nerf blasters like this woozy here? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, Skillshare, you actually can. Quite easily, in fact. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. If you want to learn how to make something like this, well, you can start by 3D designing in Fusion 360. And how do you learn a brand new program like that? Well, you can check out these very basic 3D design tutorials for Fusion 360 by Vladimir Mariano. His step-by-step -step process made it extremely easy for me to understand how to jump into Fusion 360 and start doing my own designs. But of course, it's 3D printed. Do you know how to run a 3D printer? No? Well, Michael Freeman has a class on exactly that. With his video on beginning 3D printing, you can learn everything you need to know about 3D printers. Really handy if you have absolutely no experience and want to jump in. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. But Skillshare isn't just all videos either, it's actually got projects that you can use to put some of the new skills you've been learning to the test. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity and look at some of the things I've been talking about. Skillshare is an amazing sponsor fit for this channel, so make sure you click that link down in the description and use that premium time to pick up and learn an entirely new skill or develop one you already have interest in. This thing is the Colonel Wasp Firefly that you could buy off Monkey Mods, or at least you could. I'll have a link down in the description where you can pick one up, but you can't get one right now. They've been out of stock for a long time. They have a notify me when it's in stock, and I'm betting that list is pretty long at this point. As far as I know, its original design was meant to shoot gel balls, but the shells were modified actually to fit half darts or cut down nerf darts and it fires them extremely well over 200 fps it punches really hard but that's a single projectile i mean sure a slug exists in a shotgun that's kind of the fun of the shotgun is that you can fire anything that will basically fit inside of a shell but for the firefly here there's really not a whole lot of room in that shell but when nerf hyper was announced and it was shown that they were going to be smaller versions of nerf rival we got pretty excited because we thought maybe those rounds would be 50 caliber size or 13 millimeters that would allow pretty much any blaster to become a shotgun. But uh, no, uh, they're not small enough. No, it, I mean, I kind of expected that, but it, it, it ain't gonna work. Now, sure, there could be blasters developed in the future that fires exclusively hyper out of shells, but I really want something in like this form factor because it's really comfy and tactical and I love it. And the shells are really easy to maintain and I can carry a bunch of them. And as you could probably tell by the title and the thumbnail and the fact that this bandolier clearly has something wedged inside it, this is about 50 caliber foam paintballs. Yes, the best kept secret in the Nerf modding hobby, the 50 caliber foam paintball, or at least it was, because for some time, these things have pretty much been military grade unobtainium. We knew they existed. I mean, 50 caliber paintballs exist and 0.68 caliber paintballs exist and there's 0.68 caliber foam paintballs. So there should be 0.50 caliber foam paintballs. And they did kind of exist, but they were ludicrously expensive and you were buying them from God knows where. But with the advent of Nerf Hyper, people went digging for them once again, or specifically Dr. Flux went digging once again. And he did in fact find an Amazon source 
of 50 caliber foam paintballs from Vulcan for their gotcha series of children's paintball guns. I mean, they still shoot paintballs, but you can also get these because they're reusable and they don't hit nearly as hard. Make sure you check out his channel in the top right corner and in the description below because he's firing these little foam balls out of a lot of different blasters. I'm only interested in the shotgunning aspect. And yes, 50 caliber. That means these things have the same diameter of a standard Nerf dart, which means basically anything that would fire a foam dart, you know, without any kind of air restrictor safety mechanism to prevent you from shoving something down there that's not a foam dart, would be able to fire these little balls. <laughs> and the Firefly shoots half darts. Do you know how many of those little foam balls is the same length as like one half dart in that shell? Four, about the same as triple op buck in a 410 shotgun shell. And as you can probably tell by this monster of a plunger tube back here and the fact that this thing already punched foam darts through cardboard, yeah, it will fit four of those little foam balls and it will yeet them down rage like none other. And of course they work out of any of your 50 caliber paintball markers, like all the JT Splatmaster ones. There, there's quite a few out there actually, which means I finally get to use this thing. Thank you very much for sending this in, pirate, because now, it gets to live to its full potential. Wow, that's uh... That's war worthy by itself. That's awesome. I got a lot of firing footage for this, so let's just cut to that because it's a lot of fun. Good, huh? Almost. Absolutely, it's one hundred percent accuracy at these two ranges. was a better spread, but didn't have the range. But the biggest question right now is, is something like this viable? And yes, absolutely. It is bar none the most viable way I've ever seen to have a shotgun in Nerf. Sure, things like the Domoshevsky's rail cleaner will send four full length elite darts down range like nobody's business, but those shells are massive. The blaster's massive. It's not like this. If you want a realistic shotgun experience with the safety of foam, this is bar none the best way to do it. And I cannot think of a war out there that would not let you run something like this because it's not like they hurt. I mean, most Nerf Wars have an FPS cap and this thing would break most Nerf War FPS caps. But when you're shooting four foam balls out of it, the range, the power drops drastically. But since this thing is already overpowered as is, it sets it up into the Goldilocks ratio of foam domination. But yeah, they're like, uh, you thought, you thought. Hyper was expensive. These are these are more expensive than Hyper. About 12 cents a round right now. And I plead whatever company may be watching this. Maybe it's even you, Vulcan. I don't know. But uh, 
you need to jump on trying to make these a little bit more accessible. I mean, you can imagine how many blasters out of the box will fire these things. Basically anything with a pusher style breach and no safety mechanism, like the Aeon Pro, the Nexus Pro, many 3D printed blasters, even the Adventure Force Sportsman will fire these absolutely no problem at all. And in fact, many of the Adventure Force Dart Zone hopper fed flywheel blasters will literally fire these foam balls. And if the community gets out there and starts making just magazines like Talon magazines, but for the little foam balls, you could have high capacity single shot out of things like your Aeon Pro or Nexus Pro. And that's a whole new ammunition type that you could be flinging on the field. I mean, right now it might not be the most practical reason because it's not like it's going to outrange a foam dart, but you could certainly carry more of it on you. And you could definitely fit more of these in a magazine. And you could even develop magazines that would probably fit three of them in a line and just, and turn your pump action Nexus Pro into a freaking shotgun. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. In fact, I just looked for the 50 caliber foam balls when I was doing the video on the 50 caliber paintball revolver and they weren't a thing that I could find. And it's weird that now I can finally find them and it just turned one of my favorite blasters into most likely my favorite blaster of all time because this thing is a realistic analog for a nerf shotgun i mean it functions in basically every way i've got slugs i've got buckshot i've got good range and really unless the game organizer just doesn't like it for some reason there's no reason why it wouldn't be allowed at practically any event or any war you would go to and honestly it's pretty funny because now this thing works like a shotgun does in like call of duty where after a couple of feet the rounds are just non-existent they don't do any damage anymore yeah that's that's not how shotguns actually work and if you're one of the lucky people that picked up this blaster when I did my original video some time ago, well, there's a link down below in the description and an Amazon affiliate link where you could pick up the Vulcan Gotcha paintball rounds and try them out for yourself because I absolutely love them and I sure hope they don't disappear again because while they are expensive, I'm willing to pay that tax in order to have an actual shotgun fielded in a Nerf war. But that's all I've got. Thank you very much again to Dr. Flux for reminding us all that these things exist and now they're actually obtainable. And of course, all of you who watched the video this far in, please hit that like button, get subscribed. We have a lot more content coming. I'm all about seven. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta